no chief, we are not going to. That is the one save disc we have so far. It is precious. Now, also, I think you actually have to physically pick things up and then drop them before they appear on your map. I could be wrong about that. Uh, I don't know, actually, if we read that note in there. Let's have a look. Stranger note. We just arrived at the estate a few nights ago. Me and the other group of initiates that answers the master's summons were in awe of how large the mansion was. One thing that crossed my mind, but I did not say for fear of being rude, was the apparent age of the mansion. In particular, the large front doors that served as the main entrance, which appear to be very old, the wood weak and possibly brittle. I also noticed the strange circular indentations next to each of the traditional handles. With the sig uh, significance of our duties here, I worry about security and possible outside forces trying to intervene. If I were to attract any unwanted attention, as if reading my mind, however, the master assured me that the doors were quite secure, for one cannot simply pull them open. He tried to explain the system in place for locking and opening the doors, but it went over my head. Something about an enchanted crystal. Yeah, it's not actually that complicated. This guy must have been thick as pig shit. That's fine. But anyway, we have the stranger's note. Let us go and meet our first friendo. <laughs> <coughs> Evening, Chief. Screaming in fear. Now, this camera angle here, if you're playing in the traditional combat mode, is difficult. Zombies are rather nasty customers when they want to be. If they bite you, it hurts. They also have variable speed. They will start lunging and running towards you at a pretty chipper pace. But we can easily slice him down. Notice how he took three slices with the knife. Later on, they'll start taking ten. But anyway... We will take the lighter. We know where we can use a lighter, don't we? We do. Let's go and do just that. And then we'll call it a video. Because uh, obviously there's been a long introduction. You know how my videos work. There's a long introduction, a long setup. Me talking about bollocks. And then we get into the game. Right. Oh, sounds like we've got some... Gentlemen callers trying to get in. Sorry, no more room at the end, fucko. Anyway, let's go into the toilet. At least this place has a toilet. Spencer Mansion only had one. Well, saying that, I think this place only has one. It's got a shower as well, though. All right, well, we know that candle's a duffer. A candle? I could light it if I had a lighter. Well, it just so happens, Alicia, that we have one. There we go. Lovely. Now, if we check this, we can find a medical bot bag, which I assume... I've never used one of these. I assume this is a full hill. And the blades look rusty and old. I don't know if that's a clock tower reference. I'm going to assume it probably is. We also have ointment here. Ointment is like your red herb. That will augment how much healing you get from bandages. But, I didn't realize. Actually, you know what? Mm. Okay. Uh, I didn't realize that we could actually um, combine bandages together. <gasps> oh no! Hello, zombie. Yeah, we're not going to worry too much about this guy. Although, we kind of probably have to deal with him a little bit. You can see that there is dismemberment. Oh. I didn't realize he was so weak. Well, fuck you, buddy. Um, and we have a key. But we cannot pick up any more items. Can you see the frustration with this system? Can we pick that? Thank you. 
That's the antimony key. Oh, okay. Let us go and use the antimony key. As I said, I'm just going to keep going for a while. I don't know how long. Evening, chief. We can attack zombies when they're on the floor. It does do a considerable amount of damage to them. There we go. Yeah, these zombies really do start out much weaker. Anyway, we've used the key. Let us poke our little head around the corner. A strange painting. It seems that somebody was about to move it somewhere. Uh-huh. Strange writings. There's a lot of things that we can examine, but they don't really offer much substance. Strange symbols. I cannot understand their meaning. Mm-hmm. Is that an item on the floor there? It is not. Sounds like there's a zomboid above us. Nothing but old books and files. There's a light draft coming from behind this old bookshelf. Uh, as though there's a vent or some empty spaces behind it. All right. Okay, noted. Put that in the old noggin. Something is written in blood. I cannot understand what it says. Hmm, unfortunate. Something can be placed here. Okay. None of these books are written in English, and she can tell that with her mind. Looks like a ritual knife. Why is it here? I don't know. Looks like some kind of tribal mask. Okay. Well, we're not going to worry about that too much. Very old books. The ladder is also broken, and that's not great. A backpack. I can carry more items with this. Excellent. So now, if we were using one of the more, I think the basic um, outfits, you actually see the backpack on her back, which is a really nice piece of detail. It's a shame that it's not on all of the outfits. So now we can hold six items. Now in the original release of the game, we would now be able to hold four. That is brutal. There's a small golden keyhole. Looks like some kind of cult statue. There's no time for resting, and I apologize for my throat. Ugh. Um, yeah, I, I like these, you know, comfy looking chairs here. I don't know why we can't just sit down. Like in Resident Evil 4, when you can sit in Osman Sadler's chair. That was always cool. Nice warm fire here, though. And it looks like we have some kind of goblin. A portrait of an old man. Probably the owner of this mansion. Looks grotesque. Almost inhuman. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, it looks like we have a walker above us. We do indeed. This game is really poorly optimized as well. Um, you know, it runs really badly on my ROG Ally. I've tried all sorts of things. Uh, I've run some very intensive games on the Ally. Very acceptable frame rates. This game doesn't run very well. This looks old, perhaps hundreds of years old. In fact, Resident Evil 4, the remake, runs very, very nice on the Ally. This does not. <laughs> Which one looks better and more intense? Uh, a gun. I could use this to defend myself. My dad used to take me hunting when I was little. I think I remember how to use this thing. I need to find a way to break the case. Will you push the gun case? Aight. Now, personally, if I was in this situation, I would be... If I stumbled across a gun in a case, I'd get that motherfucker open with my teeth before I left it behind. I'm just saying. There is no way that I'd be leaving this room without that firearm. There is plenty of stuff around here to smash that case open. I mean, set fire to it for fuck's sake. But there's a ritual knife. Smash the case. Jimmy, look. All right, Alicia. You're not the sharpest uh, spoon in the drawer. That's fine. Anyway, we have a doorknob now. And we know where we can use a doorknob. So that's always 
a way to keep things moving. I do like the mirrors. The mirrors are great. I very much doubt they're ray traced or anything like that, but they're, they're, nah, they're definitely not ray traced, actually, looking at them. But they're very nice. Anyway, the doorknob is falling apart. Well, I mean, we might not be the maid, but maybe we're the maintenance uh, team. Let's head on inside. Ooh, spoopy. Evening, love. Let's start taking some swipes out of this poor woman. There we go. You can see she isn't very durable, but that's fine. Now we have a bandage. Can we combine? We can. Oh my god, Reeves, you are one very uh, good tipster. Let us combine. Ah, oh, we can combine ointment with it. What? The Guys, oh, the amount of freaking supplies that I have wasted because I didn't know about that. Come on, you. Business is done for the day. Let's deal with this gentleman. Seems like he's coming at us. Ah, this is actually really good to know up here. I wonder if when we get the gun, we can shoot that dog. Dogs in this game are a nightmare. They are very, very difficult. Although that could be because I was trying to aim with the controller at like 20 frames a second. Who knows? Anyway, we have used the antimony key. It was discarded. Right, T tighty. Will you take the old key? We will take the old key. And the Neptune key. Keep it coming. We'll have that as well. Some old books. The phone is not working. Ah, we've seen this before, haven't we? A strange statue holding a blue book and a staff. Now, if we remember, in the painting, it was a red book. Hmm, okay. And another handgun magazine. We'll take the handgun magazines. We will... We can't really take the bandages. Yeah. Uh, let's leave that. We'll take the bandage and drop it on the floor. And in fact, you know what? We'll leave the ointment there as well. Okay. So I think we've harvested up everything that's here. It's locked, so we need the sun key. All right, well, we don't have a sun key. Let's keep exploring. Evening, sir. If you want to ask a girl about doorknobs, I'm your woman. I know my way around a knob, I can tell you that much. Well, we certainly found our way around him, didn't we? All right, so now we have a flashlight. I've never seen much, uh, so far at least, where the flashlight is actually useful, but whatever, we've got one now. And we have another save disc. Cool. There is a map in this game, and it's really good. It's a very, very, very competent map. Locked from the other side. We unlocked it. Now, Let's go and use one of our precious save discs, shall we? Um, we did grab the magazine from there. I like the way this game actually calls them magazines. Not clips. You do not put a clip into an automatic or semi-automatic handgun. At least, it's not very common. Maybe some very old designs. Unfortunately, we're going to ruin the beautiful ambience of this room now. And we're going to be saving. I've actually got further than this. I'm on save six or seven, I believe, uh, on my standard playthrough. But the cloud obviously hasn't synced. Now, there is an autosave slot. Why there's an autosave slot? Because the game doesn't have an autosave. Uh, I don't know. You know, I didn't make the game. And now we have this traditional kind of like ye olde music. 
Um, so it's like Chopin and stuff like that. There's all sorts in here. It's all real music. And it, I'm sorry, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit at all. It's almost comical. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? So we now have an old key and we have a, another key that we can use. And we're also getting screen tearing even though we're running at 120 FPS, which, <sighs> I, okay. It's locked, there is a moon. We don't have the moon key. Okay, we don't have the key for that. Sun key is needed. Right, we could... Um, we have the old key, which I don't think... I've got to try and remember where all these keys are used now. My memory on key use is not perfect. Venus, what key do we actually have here? Small worn key. Neptune, right, we have the Neptune key, okay. Now, if only... I could, ah, wait. Hang on, hang on. Can't use that door anymore. Where was the Neptune key used? Possibly upstairs, actually, thinking about it. Just around the corner. Around the corner and a little to the left. There we go. I remember things about stuff. Now this leads us into the top of the library. And the librarian is still chilling, still happy. Still living the dream, working the night shift, the graveyard shift, if you will. That's okay, you can see the zombies have become a little bit more durable, but that's okay. These books are written in some kind of foreign language. I can't read any of them. Okay. Well, we can drop the ladder down to link up two sides of the uh, library. We can also... Yeah, does anyone play Resident Evil 1? Any of you? Or even the remake? Let's push the statue. Now, when you have to push an item like this, uh, it is automatic. At least it's automatic in one direction. And now we have a key. We also have a gun. Kind of. And we have another key. Because, well, I guess you just cannot have too many keys. I think these guys probably played Resident Evil and they're like, hey, you know those guys that play Resident Evil? Yeah, they, they really like their keys, don't they? Let's give them all of the keys. Old books. Something can be placed here. And I believe we can't use this just yet. It's locked. Symbol of Earth. There's yet another key that we need. Okay. So let's go down the ladder. All right, and we're gonna go grab, we're not gonna be able to hold the handgun because we have too many keys, the Venus key. Let's, ugh, this could cost us. Gonna drop the knife. No, we're not, we're gonna drop the bandage. I don't like dropping the bandage, but needs must when the devil drives. So we need a small golden key for that. We have so many keys now, it's kind of ridiculous. This is where the pacing of the exploration is bonkers. Let's reload our gun. Okay. Looks like we have the invasion of the zombies. Oh my. You're gone. All right. We're going to hold the stairs. Come on, you flesh-eating fuck faces. Let's do this. Kitchen's closed, lads. Come to mama. Now, remember when I said there's an Achilles heel? 
with the zombies. They cannot attack you on the stairs. Although, I guess technically they can, but they cannot use their primary attack. The primary attack that does all the damage. Also, if we disable an arm, they cannot do their primary grab attack at all. So, let us hack and slash. And we have the height advantage, so we're constantly aiming down on these guys. Come on, let's do this. What do you mean you can't take on one poorly armed, injured woman? I've seen more guts in processed meat. Right, anyway, now that nonsense is over. Uh, you know what? We'll probably go grab that bandage. Sure, we are a little bit low on health. I don't know how much health that bandage is going to heal. It's probably going to heal all of it. I've never used such a powerful healing item. Uh, put it this way. When I was playing this um, originally, I died so many times in that room, it wasn't even funny. Uh, until I realized that little tip of just how broken the knife is. Now, it's important to stress that although you can do that on the fixed camera angle mode, it is not that easy. Not by a long shot. So let's use that. I'm guessing we're, yeah, we're at full health now. I don't know if that was a waste of bandages. I, I have genuinely no idea. I don't know if as the game goes on, we can improve our health. Kind of Resident Evil 4 style. I don't know. Anyway, we've got a load of keys. Let's start unlocking some doors. And of course, out of the 65,000 keys we've got in our pocket, we can't use that one. Or that one. Or that one. <laughs> All right, well... Let's keep putting keys in holes and seeing what happens. I'm sure something's going to happen eventually. Hey, so there's the Venus key. Can't use that one. Ah, dining room, eh? Well, we've seen a few of these in our time. So when the zombie has his arm outstretched like that, he's moving at a pretty, pretty nasty pace there. But that's okay. We can handle him. I don't know what the percentage chance is of dismembering an enemy. It seems to be uh, relatively low. Oh, you little bastard. Do you see that shit? Unreasonably touchy there, my friend. Oh, evening. Let's give you a couple of slices with the old slicer. The zombie mincer. There we go. I mean, we have a gun, but you've seen how much ammo we have for it. Uh, not much. <laughs> not much at all. Yes, that's enough out of you. You worm. Come on, sir. Come on through. Oh, we'll have that. Now, cop zombies are useful. Why? Because quite often... Ooh. Yeah, got a little bit of a cheeky bite in there. Quite often, the zombie cops will drop ammo. And we like ammo. Yeah, there we go. Sit down. An old gramophone seems to be broken. Well, that's no good. The heat is very strong. It is. Keeping this room lovely. What were they eating? Who are these people? Oh, what were they eating? Looks like awful. Resident Evil 7 style, I guess. The Gathering Call. The hours of reckoning draw nigh. Although I haven't heard the tolling of the cathedral bells, which will serve as Lord Alf Alfred summons to us. Alfred. Alfred? summons to us, I can sense the growing eagerness amongst the other members. For some of us, midnight could not get here fast enough. Yet, 
Some of the newer recruits are unaware of tonight's special event and thus will probably be interrupted by their nocturnal rituals as of the Elder Circle. Uh, uh, wait, what? The uh, nocturnal rituals as we of the Elder Circle usher them from their useless chores to their real duty, their ultimate fate. They will answer Lord Alfred's calling when they uh, whether they are ready or not. Okay. Sounds like a an interesting place. We can try and adjust the clock. I actually know <laughs> what we need to adjust the clock to. Yes, this is a very, very painfully slow process. We need to adjust the clock to dinner time. Now we're gonna get that note in a in a second anyway, I believe. So we're gonna do it now. We need to adjust the clock to 640. They couldn't really have made that much slower. And that is gonna give us a cog which we cannot hold because why would we be able to hold it? Because we already have 60,000 other keys on board. Anyway, let's keep exploring this new wing. Oh. Evening, Squire. How about I uh, end your eternal misery for you? What do you say to that? You like that? Yeah, you like that. I found that if you aim at their hand, that seems to be the best way of actually initiating their hitbox. There we go. An antique statue standing in the darkness. Ah, do you know what we need for that? If you guessed we need to go all the way back to get the lighter, you'd be right. Ugh. Okay. Let's go get the lighter. And if you're thinking to yourself, uh, we're going to get another key item that we need from that. You're right. This game should be called Item Hoarding, the game. But, item management, uh, something's going to happen later on that is going to make the item management a lot more manageable. And again, <laughs> when this game first came out, yeah, there, there was a little bit more to that that they've streamlined as well. But that's fine. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Right, let's go use this. If we had a lighter, you mean the one in your back pocket. And that gives us another medical bag. Which, you know, I'm sure will be useful at some stage. Like so. Not as useful as the cog in our pocket, though. Let's use the old key. I'm pretty sure the zombie we could hear moving is actually out here, I think. There's two zombies here. This guy's got a bit of a move on. That's fine. We're going to attack the hand that is trying to grab us. Come on, you worm. Let's get this done. Now, although you saw me decap attack a zombie with one hit from the handgun, that is like an RNG chance thing. It doesn't always happen. In fact, I don't really know what the chance of that to happen is. It seems reasonable. I'd say somewhere in the region of 30 to 40% chance. But, you know, it almost appears that using the handgun on the zombies is a little more than a waste. Ah... I guess we've got some head. Everybody likes head. 